Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I am extremely devastated to announce that I will be getting rid of my entire Japanese Pokemon card collection. Let's talk about it, shall we? What's good everybody, Dark Gold here, back at it again with another video, and in today's video guys, two things are about to go down. The first thing is, I will be showing and explaining on why this collection has to go, you feel me? And the second thing is, we are going to be opening up Pokemon card booster packs, specifically Fusion Strike, because what's a Pokemon video without opening up some Pokemon Pack. So if you guys are excited or at least somewhat curious for today's video, make sure you guys smash that like button right now. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the Go Army, and welcome. And if you guys leave a comment down below, make sure you guys include the hashtag Ghoul Army to be featured in a video. But guys, check it out, man. Check it out. We have some Fusion Strike Blister Packs. We're going to open up half of them right now. And then the other half, I'm going to open them after I show you guys the collection and explain why it has to go. So let's go ahead and start with the Eevee Blisters. 12 seconds later. Alrighty, guys. So Blister number one featuring none other than the GOAT itself or himself herself it doesn't matter what it is you feel me the main focus is it's eevee bro and everybody loves eevee so check out this beautiful eevee promo card be prepared and bite for the attacks and then you guys get the code card for the tcg and then obviously the coin is none other than the homie dragonite and here are the packs themselves you only get three packs per these blisters so let's just go ahead and jump right into them and i'm not gonna lie guys i have not opened up as much fusion strike as i thought i would you feel me because this set is filled with Mew cards and i'm actually surprised at myself that i haven't opened up more of this set especially since i clearly said that this set is one of my oh there we go we got a chandelier v Full art. I was literally about to say that I said this was one of my most favorite sword and shield sets because of the Mew cards and other Pokemon that I love. And this is actually a Pokemon that I love. We got the Chandelure V, aka one of the underrated Pokemon from the Black and White series. Yes, I know it is a Chandelure, but I don't care. You feel me? It is a beautiful beautiful Pokemon. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments down below because I know a lot of people hated on a lot of black and white Pokemon, bro. Like, it was absolutely crazy. Like, Vanillite, the Ice Cream Cone, that's one of my favorites too, you feel me? Like, I am open to any Pokemon design as long as I like it, you feel me? So, we got the Toxel, we got the Totodile, we got the Baneary, we got the Clobber Puss, or I have no idea how to say that Pokemon's name. But we got the homie Zigzagoon, followed by the Greninja V Ultra Rare, ladies and gentlemen. So we are literally two for two with this Fusion Strike first blister. But this Greninja is not going to take down the Chandelure because that is a full art and it is beautiful indeed. So this right here is the final pack from this blister ladies and gentlemen so let's see if there is some heat so here is the code card right there and let's see if we can get some last pack magic it's all good if we don't because look at it we already got a full art and a regular art so we got a man key we got a crow gunk pantseer toxel and we have a gorbice regular rare the weirdest fish of all time i mean it's kind of normal, but at the same time, it's like so mysterious. I don't know much about it. It's just weird. Gorbice and Huntail are really weird fish Pokemon. Although they're both cool. I'm not going to lie. We are now going to move on into Blister Pack number two. Let's see if we can match the pools. Three weeks later. So here is the code card for the online TCGO. And let's go ahead and start things off with this Mew 
booster pack, bro. And let's see if we can pull our first Mew from Fusion Strike. So let's get it, baby. We got ourselves a Fire Energy. And y'all know that this pool is about to be straight heat, my guy. It is about to be straight heat. So we got the Clam Pearl. We got the Skarmory. Shelmet, Schoolboy. And this pack is not heat. It is literally underwater, my guy. Pack number two, we got ourselves another Mew. Come on, Mew. Don't let me down. You cannot let me down for the second time. You got to give me some of that heat, some of that juice, some of that secret ultra rare formula. Let's see. We got a battle VIP pass. That's a beautiful trainer card. We got a Mawile. We got a Makuhita with the squad. Look at that. Makuhita and the squad getting ripped. We got a Sawad. Oh, we got a Diggersby. And we got a secret rare Flappy. Look at that. I'm kind of low-key salty that they didn't make Ampharos a secret rare, bro. Like, they put Flappy? I'm not complaining, bro, because I love the Mary Evolution line. I love Mary, I love Flappy, I love Ampharos. I love them all, bro. So check that out. We got a Flappy secret rare, which is definitely gonna remove the chandelure from the star of the show but check that out we got the cotton candy pokemon it is beautiful it is beautiful and most importantly these blister packs are insane bro the pools are solid they are solid so we got ourselves a genesect up next i don't know if genesect can top that if it's a mew card then obviously it can top that but if it's not then it's gonna be quite difficult but we got ourselves the quick ball which is my favorite type of pokeball from any pokemon game because you have a chance at catching pokemon in one go so we got ourselves the galarian perserker followed by a luxray regular rare and why is this card so basic bro this dude is a final stage pokemon 160 hp with no type of action on its moves Thunderclaws for 90 damage. That's it, bro. Come on. Y'all did Luxray dirty. Y'all did Luxray dirty with the attacks on the card. But guys, the first blister packs had a couple ultras. We basically got some of everything. We got a secret rare Flaffy. We got ourselves a full art. We got a regular art and two Eevees. But now the real reason y'all clicked on this video. Let's talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, this binder right here contains my entire Japanese Pokemon card collection. Although most of my Japanese cards are from one specific set, which is Tag Team All-Stars, it is a lot of Ultra Rares in this binder. You guys know, if you've been around the channel for a hot minute, y'all know I used to do a series where I open up a booster box of Tag Team All-Stars hunting for the master set, you feel me? And I used to buy these boxes for $40, $50, $60 a piece from Amazon or any other website that I can find. But guys, I kid you not, now, if you were to buy a Tag Team All-Stars booster box right now, it's going to cost you well over $350 for one box, bro. And that happened ever since the spike of Pokemon cards went up, ever since scalpers started, you know, going everywhere and going crazy with the product. That's when Tag Team All-Stars took a turn for the worst and it just became too expensive, bro. I have not bought a box of Tag Team All-Stars in years. Like, I'm not joking at all. So I was like, it's time to get rid of the collection. I highly doubt I'm going to complete it if I'm buying booster boxes, you feel me? If I buy singles, then sure. I might be able to complete the set, but booster boxes, there's no way I'm spending $350 for one box. So guys, let me go ahead and open up the first page and check it out, bro. Check out how beautiful these cards are. Like I said, every single page is filled and in the middle slot of each page has a secret rare from Tag Team All-Stars, bro. Look at that. We got Charizards. We got Rayquaza in the top. We got a golden secret rare card with Zorark 
Angra Ninja. But the good news is, even though I'm getting rid of this collection, someone will get it. And if you guys want a chance at winning this collection via eBay, I will be doing an auction. So basically, whatever it lands on, by the time the auction is finished, that's how much the collection will be sold for. So link will be in the description. The first link if you guys want to bid on this collection. Let me go ahead and show y'all what else is in the binder. This binder right here will be included. It's a brand new, you know, binder right here. I barely even touched it at all. So here's the second page, guys. We got a Jirachi secret rare. We got more ultra rare action right here. Third page, a gold secret rare, bro. And it pains me to get rid of this collection because I was actually confident that I was going to get a master set, bro. Like, I was honestly confident. But with the prices of this set, I just can't complete it or continue the series anymore. So we got the trainer red full art right there. We got more ultras. Like I said, a ton of ultras in this binder. We got another full art trainer card right here, bro. And it keeps going. Keep in mind, all of these secret rares that you see right here are considered secret rares like all of the full arts this is a secret rare in the japanese set that's how crazy the set is bro so even the full art trainers are extremely hard to get from tag team all-stars because you're basically only getting one per box you feel me so let's continue man we got ourselves an alternate artwork dark Rye and umbreon we got the full art baby trio right there. I believe this card came out in a collection box. Correct me if I'm wrong though, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. So let's see. I believe we're near the end, but we got ourselves another full art trainer. We got a full art Weavile, which is basically a secret rare because this was my only full art pool from one of the boxes I opened. So that's how you know these full arts, they are no joke. So let's see, we're near the end guys. We got a secret rare energy and check it out. On this page, we have a ton of secret rare energy cards from Tag Team All-Stars, bro. I believe I have all of them. No, I'm missing water type right here. So I can definitely notice that we're missing water type. I'm not sure if there's a normal type. I'm pretty sure there's not because that used to be double colorless energy. But let's continue, man. I believe the next page is the final page, which it is. We got ourselves three ultras right here. And then this one with a secret rare fire energy. So like I said, if you guys want a chance at winning this binder via auction, first link in the description. And this binder itself is also basically brand new. You feel me? Like I barely touched this binder at all. So it will be included with the collection. Now let's get back into the video since y'all know the situation. Alrighty guys, so we are back with the blister packs, but this time we're going to go ahead and open up some Espeon 3-pack blisters in hopes of continuing the amazing pulls. Many months later. Alrighty guys, so here is the Espeon promo card, which is absolutely beautiful. I love the artwork with the roses. And then here is the code card. And then in the Espeon blister, you actually get an Entei coin right there, which I think is much cooler than the Dragonite, but we are here for the booster packs, and I know some people are going to be devastated since the series of Tag Team All-Stars is never going to come to an end. Maybe in the future it will, but for now, guys, I have to put that series officially to rest because, let's be honest, rarely a few people are going to spend over $350 for one booster box that contains 10 booster packs bro only 10 packs for 350 dollars bro and a chance at basically getting nothing because the set is extremely huge with a ton of secret rares within you feel me it's very difficult to justify that into a series especially when i'm already on a budget you feel me so like i said if you guys want a chance at that collection first link in the description now let's go ahead and continue and put the main focus on these blisters we got to get a couple more pulls bro we got a brelu we got a cross switcher we got a stuffle we got a sigilith totodile and we got a fish and we have a melmetal holographic so come on they got to give me some heat because i low-key feel kind of sad 
I'm getting rid of most of my Japanese collection. Basically, the only Japanese cards that I'm staying with are the vintage ones. Other than that, I am going to be including any Japanese cards that I find into that binder because there's no point in keeping them. I'm not a Japanese collector to begin with anyways. I just thought Tag Team All-Stars was an amazing set. So guys, let's see what the final card is. A Toxtricity Holographic. So we got two hollows from that blister. It's all good. It's all good because we got the final blister of Destiny. One eternity later. Here is the code card for the Ghoul Army. And these three packs are the final ones. Let's go ahead and start things off with Gengar. And we're going to save Mew for last because, well... It's Mew, bro. Do I need to say more? Like, come on, man. It's Mew. One of the greatest Pokemon to ever be created. You feel me? If not the greatest Pokemon to ever be created. And I'm actually really happy that Brilliant Diamond. Is it Brilliant Diamond? I'm pretty sure it's Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. You actually get to start with a Mew in the beginning of the game. And I absolutely love it because I've never had a Mew besides when I hacked for it you know when i used to use action replays i'm pretty sure some of you guys can relate when action replays were a theme back in the day with ds games bro that was that was definitely a good time i'm not gonna lie even though it wasn't legit you know it was still a fun time i had a great time using the action replay on my pokemon pearl game because i did a lot of things i think i had over 400 hours logged in my pokemon pearl game bro i'm not kidding at all you feel me it was absolutely so much fun i only played it with my brother too so it was literally only two of us having so much fun in a single game so let's check it out man we got one pack left these last two blisters have been kind of dry let's see if mew can provide come on mew we got the mew booster pack let's see if we can provide an ultra rare within we got a Thunder Energy. Who's weak against Thunder that's in this set? That is an amazing card. I have no idea. Let's see. We got a Baneri. We got a Lopini in the background. That's actually pretty dope. We got a Rapid Strike Basculin with the homies. That's dope as well, man. I realize that a lot of these like Rapid Strike, Single Strike cards has a bunch of other Pokemon in the background like training together. And I like that. I approve. You feel me? So we got the Crow Gunk, which is in my current team for Shining Pearl. I love Toxic Croak. We got a Fusion Strike Energy Reverse. And the final card in this opening is... Another Malmetal Holographic. Really? You had to ruin the vibes, Melmetal. You just had to when I literally just pulled you. But guys, at least we did get a certain amount of ultras in the first blisters. We got Greninja, we got a beautiful Chandelure full art, and not to mention, we got the Flaffy Secret Rare Pokemon card. Look at that shine. That right there is beautiful, and it is also the star of the show. Without further ado, guys, like I said, if you want a chance at bidding on this collection, first link in the description. And without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.